Riker's Iron presents. So ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome to the day 2-3 uh, recap for Lock and Load 2019. We did not do one yesterday because it was a really insanely busy day, which you're going to hear about uh, in a little bit. Um, and we'll also do today's recap at the same time. I'm going to do maybe a little bit of uh, maybe a YouTube video uh, instead for the full con recap and my thoughts and pictures and share some stuff and some cool things and tips and things that I got from people who I played with and people who I painted uh, f to present <laughs> to. Uh, yeah, so uh, I don't even remember what we talked about on Friday. Friday we talked about the keynote and some of the cool stuff that we saw and played and people we met. <clears throat> Still enjoying the hotel, Rusty Paints. Rusty Paints was one of them sexy folks that we met. Yes, Rusty, we're here till uh, tomorrow morning, so just taking the night. We went to Taco Time. He went to Taco Time like 12 times <laughs> since we've been here. Uh, what, what was the count, Taco Time count? Uh, five, I think. <laughs> five, five Taco Times. Twice time. today. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, so Friday we... Uh, uh, sorry, that's Sarah. She just texted me. So I can't remember Friday stuff. Uh, well, yeah, we talked about that stuff Friday, but Saturday was crazy busy. It was absolutely insane. Got up super early, um, headed downstairs to the Iron Arena, and what, was, what did we do Saturday? In the right in the morning. I think I you just, just like woke up and went down and started playing, right? That's what I did pretty much every day here. I was here. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do anything else really. Yeah. Um, Saturday. What did I do Saturday morning? I don't even remember what I did. Well, you played Saturday morning up until night, and then you went out with the guys. Oh the yes, and stuff. Yes, but there was something I did in the morning on that. On that. <clears throat> didn't get. I know I didn't get a chance to say goodbye uh, either, Jay. We were down in the Iron Arena, then we came back to the room, and, and everybody was kind of going. But uh, yeah, so ended up ended up playing a game with Jehoic Saturday. I wandered around a little bit. I went to. Um, well, I went to the painting area to just see people and see what the the, the competition was like because I knew that uh, Saturday was going to be handing in my Grimkin. Um, so I, I played Jehoic in like the, I guess the first War Machine battle um, in morning ish afternoon. Um, it was the Crucible Guard versus Grimkin, and uh, I got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> um, but I had, had had some fun with it. Crucible Guard, I'm still afraid of. It's a really really intense faction. Um, they seem to have solutions for everything that you need, and it's uh, it's intimidating to, to, to know that and, and, and face off against it. Rusty Paint says, uh, I want to get one of those dice bags Julia made for Mompok. Yeah, I saw people walking around with them. I don't know who was, uh, if they were, someone was selling them or if it's online or what the deal with that is. Um, um, uh, Gearbox was with us hanging out here in the room for a bit, and he had one. He had a guard one. It looked, it looked really nice. What did, 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 did you have any uh, like crazy games on Saturday? Like anything that was memorable or noticeable? or All the games, I don't remember when I actually did them. But um, yeah, like I had a game against... Uh, I had a game today that I won against this guy. But it was, it was Rhett. And he just had a really just like... It wasn't like a very synergistic list. It was just like a bunch of models that he kind of slapped together. It didn't seem like a cohesive list. But I was glad I got to face off um, against stuff I never faced off against before. I, the very last game I played today... I wouldn't say I got demolished, but I just... I had a, I had a face off against Sentinels, uh. which I never had to before. And I just could not... Um, I couldn't bust through them. Like, they had so much armor. He was doing Gorshe too. He had their armor, like, way up. Even if I brought it down, uh, it gave him tough. So he just kind of kept me at bay. I could never touch him. That's crazy. Um, but, yeah, you know, I had some games where uh, I got demolished, but the scenario levels and stuff like that were really fun. I did one this morning on a, um, like, a trench, like a battlefield with, like, trenches on it and stuff like that. 
Oh yeah, you got the that was the one with the two cannons on the end, right? Like there was like a small cannon. Yeah, the side, yeah, but... yeah. It wasn't like a scenario table, but the trenches. It was just like I don't know. That table was just like really freaking hard to play on. I just remembered the games that I'm describing actually happened Friday because Saturday, uh, I handed in my painting competition stuff. So uh, what I said about G Hoax game was actually Friday, along with Drakios. I played Drakios. Yeah, I guess I gave an update. Uh, so wait, what was that? Yes, okay, so correction to, to my update. I actually only ended up playing Saturday. Oh, I, planned it, I played Ember Wild in Saturday morning. I had a crazy game versus his Rhett. And uh, he ended up kind of sneaking up on me with Iris, bolt, uh, bolt shocking me for removing all my fury. And then he just like, I couldn't transfer my, my six fury I had kept on me. And he just hit me twice and killed him. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, Granny Panties, I miss you. I'll see you this weekend. Actually, I know it's still a weekend away, but ugh, so far, it's so far, it's so far. That picture you sent me of Gomez was ridiculously cute. It was ridiculous. I'll post it up in the Discord so you guys can see it. It's just like Gomez, like right up against the camera with like his sleepy face, all smiley and shit. Uh, tables for Warmer Horms look really cool. Yeah, they had such crazy tables. Yeah, like. I wish I could have just one of those tables, but they had like 17 of them. And I know they build them like each year, like one each year, but it just looks, I have a ton of pictures of that stuff. So. They had one that had a uh, a train. Did you see that one? I didn't see that one. There was one with a train going across it, like at an angle. And I almost was going to play it today, my last game, but I'm just like, ugh, like last game. And uh, I don't want to do a scenario. I have enough struggles with just the regular game itself i don't need to throw crazy rules on top of it. <laughs> um i i after my game with ember wild where he snuck up on me and destroyed me uh and made me re-fear those um weapon master uh sword guys uh actually i ended up playing you i think you were my second and last you were actually my last game uh on in the, in the morning mm. um i did play a game with drakios though uh so after I streamed on Friday, I had a crazy, crazy game with Drakios where he I faced off against the Mountain King and the Glacier King on a scenario board with a big giant. I was on top of a bridge with uh, it was like a Signar bridge into I think it was into Corvus, and the scenario was he had to get his something from his side to my table edge and end his activation. So I. I ran interference as long as I could. I was actually almost clocked him out, but I screwed up one of my deployments and ended up pushing my guy too far to the one side and he managed to squeeze around the side and I couldn't get in front of him in time to block him off and he ended up winning. But I've never faced the combo of uh, Glacier King and Mountain King at the same time. Oh my gosh. Like, I did one damage to him with my Glimmer Imp who scooped down his eyeball and blinded him for a turn. <laughs> that was it. It was crazy. Uh, I didn't play too many War Machine actually this weekend. I had my Jehoic game, I had my Amber Wild game, I had a game with you, I had my Drakios game, and I think that's actually it for War, War Machine stuff. I was because the narrative event ate up most of my Friday, so I didn't get a chance to to play too much with that. But I watched a lot of games, I took a lot of pictures of stuff, I wandered around and met people and and and, and all that jazz. But I handed in my stuff on Saturday, and then we all got together. Um, no, sorry. I ended up running into uh, Gearbox after my last War Machine. I had just handed in all my painting stuff, and I ran into Gearbox, and he ran up to me. He's like, dude, I won the Monpok Championship. And I'm like, what? And so, like, he took first place. Very excited about that. Uh, I'm glad that it was someone that in our little group, our little community here. And uh, I, I actually got to play with him today on here. He was giving me, like, tips and trying to, you know, teach me some more a little bit more of a, of a detailed and better way of playing the game than just like, ah, 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 you know, like uh, Sarah is, uh, Granny Panties is very, very uh, good uh, at screening. I don't know how she figured it out, but I can't figure it out, but he uh, he helped me out a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you meet, ner uh, you meet ner new grit, <laughs> new friends. Uh, yeah, lots of new friends, actually. I ended up meeting some of the people I've never actually met before in face-to-face, -face, so it was really weird to have people come up and be like, hey, and I'm like, ah, 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 all awkward and stuff. And they're like, it's blah, blah, blah. 
And I'm like, yeah, and then like, you know, best friends. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, made a lot of new friends. Um, yeah, so I ended up running to, uh, uh, Gearbox on Saturday, and he's like, dude, come back to my, come back to my room. I got mead. I'm like, what? You got mead? He's like, yeah, I bought honey mead. I'm like, okay, it's sold. So we ended up going back to his room to like kind of celebrate his, his win and just, just like tell about the game and stuff. And we had some, some drinks there. And then um, I couldn't, you you were still down in, in the arena when uh, Amber Wilde came up with his uh, buddy Joe. Uh, he was here for a dentist convention. And uh, he ended up dropping by and spending time here in the convention here <laughs> afterwards. And uh, we talked for like an hour and a half, two hours or something, waiting to go for our dinner because uh we went to dinner at nine o'clock or so you we actually when you texted me we had just yeah. left like 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 minutes like, okay <laughs> like like we had just left arrived and got our like how long we're gonna wait it was like 10 minutes up the road okay and you're like dude where you at i'm like i'm like oh we must have we literally must have like gotten out of the of the thing and you must have like come in <laughs> well i don't know i remember when i texted you though but i gotta write that oh shit rusty paints you've got the to touch my friend you got the sexy power. Look at that. Mm. Can I can I get over there? <laughs> Thank you for that sub, good sir. Two months, two months streak. All the celebrations, two months. I don't have any of my stuff here right now, so I'm not gonna try to pay you out because it's not gonna work. <laughs> so you're gonna have to wait. Gonna have to wait, Rusty Paints. I but I met Rusty. Um, who did I meet this weekend? Met Rusty, Chihoic, Drakios, Oni J, Amber Wild, Amber Wild, who stayed with us because oh yeah uh, that, that was another thing. Um, uh, Amber Wild, his room was given away, so he had nowhere to stay, so he stayed with us and split the room, and I actually was able to pick up some stuff from the store because he he was like, here's here it is, you know. <laughs> so I, I instead of he basically re recouped me for the security deposit thing. Mm -hmm. Um, what else did we do on Saturday? Then Saturday was the dinner. We went to a place called uh, Mox's Boarding House, which is near here. And it's literally just a giant, like there's a restaurant attached to a gaming store, attached to a gaming arena. And when you're in the restaurant, you can, you, you can pick a game, you can play it, and you can get a discount to buy that game from the store. <laughs> and uh, it was really cool. It was a long ass wait. There was a lot of people there because of the convention and stuff. But um, it was really fun. We had like just a simple meal and hung out and shot the shit and and uh, and uh, did did all that. Then we came back here and okay, so we had planned the Mompok tournament. So and we were drinking a lot between like when we when I came back here with Emberwild and his buddy uh, Joe, we uh, telling stories and just chatting. We had down some of Emberwild's uh, homebrew beer. It's twelve percent alcohol. <laughs> okay, and I had a, a big bottle of it. So I was already like. I was already pretty tipsy when we went to Mox's and then uh, had more drinks there and then had some more drinks when we got back when we were playing the tournament. So we did, uh, we got back around midnight and so we, we renamed the tournament to Riker's Midnight Mompok <laughs> because uh, it was originally supposed to be earlier in the day but we everybody was kind of busy and uh, um, oh my god, I totally forgot. Uh, the reason why I was also back here, wait, was that today or yesterday? That was yesterday. Uh, the reason why I also came back here and was waiting for things was I did the costume contest. And uh, so I dressed up as my Dread Pirate Rotten. I posted up pictures of it already. You guys can go on Discord and uh, Instagram and shit to see that. But I got fourth place out of fourth. I know that last place, but it's still fourth. But I got a gift certificate regardless. And uh, I met some of the, the other people mm -hmm. who made costumes and stuff. And uh, one of them one of them is actually another Twitch streamer, the one who actually won. Uh, She's here with her little her daughter, and uh, she signed my, my book. I signed her little sign and stuff. She was looking for people, and uh, it was it was it was it was really cool. I, I wasn't expecting um, actually honestly I was, I was expecting maybe a few more costumes than what there were, but uh, I was also not expecting to actually win anything from it. I was I just wanted to participate, uh, but it was nice. I actually got from that gift certificate. So I was originally going to get uh, Terra uh, Terracon. But uh, he wasn't uh, in the store, so I got my my Ares Mothership that I've been wanted to buy a little while ago. It's one of the only monsters I don't have, so <clears throat> I grabbed that. It was basically free. I didn't. All I did was dress up. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so I, well, after the costume contest, I ran into Ember Wild, came back to the room, drank heavily, went out to the Moxes. Then we got back at midnight for a midnight Mompok, and we were wasted playing the three round tournament of Monster Apocalypse. We only got through two rounds before uh, Geoic, and everyone just was like looking at each other like, should we continue? We're like, no, let's continue in the morning. <laughs> so we ended up killing it around 3 30 in the morning and uh, sneaking back here. I, I'm surprised you did you wake up when we came in? I don't remember. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we came back here, um, hunkered in, slept. It was a really crazy busy day. Like I, I think we were up at like seven or eight today at, uh, on Saturday. Yeah, and you then, got up early. And then like just until three thirty the next morning. I can't believe I was able to keep up, but like it's weird. No, if I was at home doing that, I don't think I could. But just because there's always something to do and always like people to meet and see. Like I ended up running into Travis, getting him to sign the book and talking. You know, Infernals with Travis, the, the um, uh, aka Dark Legacy, aka um, what else is he called online? He's basically the uh, the like main judge for Private Press. Um, ended up running into him and talking shit with him. I talked with uh, Headley from Private Press, who's the one who's like does the social media and like supplies us with like our minis and our unboxing stuff. Talked with him about doing things. Um, he was <laughs> he was also drinking heavily, so we, we shot the shit about um, a whole bunch of things. Um, what it's like working at the you know privateer press and you know people who he enjoys working with, people who are kind of weird to work with. Uh, just his his ideas for social media and and stuff. So it was, it was kind of a neat little thing. Um, he's also super like he's like whatever, dude. Like <laughs> it just doesn't give a shit. Um, did you uh, did you get a chance to go any of the, of the uh, of the of the chats or do any any of that stuff on Saturday? Like, no, I didn't no. know there were any. Yeah, there was like dev chats and like no like, no hangouts and things. No, I just talked to that one guy today, just like through happenstance from Private Press. I, I didn't even catch his name. I don't know who it is, but oh, Granny Pennies. <laughs> Good night, Granny Panties. Congrats on the top three finish. Yes, uh, we're going to talk about Sunday in a sec. I, I was ready to keep going last night. I know, me too. I was actually, uh, I actually thought we were. Like, I, I was I was okay to go. I know Vicarious probably would have went, uh, kept going, and I, I know you were. But uh, Ember Wild and Jehoic and um, uh, Gearbox were, like, exhausted. I know Gearbox was because he had just finished playing, like, 22 games of, of Monster Apocalypse or some shit at that point. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I gotta, I gotta go to bed. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So Saturday was ex- extremely busy. Um, I, I don't, I didn't think I played that much. I only played those, those two, those two games on Saturday. Did you get a chance to play on any of the uh, scenario tables that weren't weren't the one that 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 we played on oh, the besides, silo? Besides the, um, I, I think I already talked about like I played on the silo one, and. Uh, I can't even remember. I think I already talked about them last time we did the stream. I only did like two. I only did two scenario tables, mm-hmm. maybe three. But I didn't do any. Uh, that was all Saturday. I didn't do any today. I was going to. There were fewer people out today playing, um, so some of them were more like opened up. But I was just like, you know, like I don't want to deal with like all those crazy, crazy rules and stuff like that. Did you get it? What, what did you get again from the uh, the Iron Arena swag stuff? You got? I just got this mug. Cause they had like, they had uh, it was like slim pickings. Ah, uh, yeah. When I got there, I, I did yeah. it today, and it was like nothing left. And I didn't know. I wish I had known that. But uh, I got this mug. It's a ret mug who I play, and I got this uh, concept art, which, which actually you can have it because it's Monpox stuff. And but like they had these uh, really awesome like posters like yeah. war machine posters but like they were way too many points like the last dude i played i had 30 30 points and i thought i played a lot of games this weekend the guy the, the last guy i played when i when i picked the stuff up he had like something like 80 points or something like that i'm like how do you get 80 points that's like that's like 50 that's games crazy. or something so he was able to get that artwork but they had these really awesome metal tokens like a token set yeah. to play with, but they were all out of that. All, all that was left today were like the scraps. 
Yeah, I got uh, I got a bunch of free shit like from the arena. Um, I got where is it here? Uh, I packed the other ones away, but from the Iron Arena, I got uh, some more foil foil cards. I got some like they were giving away. If you if you took something, you also got a, a medal if you wanted it. They were like I got a Merc, and uh, G Hoek gave me a Kador one. Kador, what what? Uh, <laughs> I also got the see-through resin uh, Ares cone, so I could do my Ares mothership, and uh, some of the Monpok coins, um, the little uh, like the destroyer and defender coin, because I, I I I had only played four games of War Machine and uh, three games of Monpok, and I, so I didn't have too many points, and I didn't play fully painted. Um, I was always missing something, uh, so I didn't get a chance to earn those extra extra nuggets but if we ever go again i'm hoping to go again uh that's that's definitely for sure i don't know when maybe the next maybe two or three years from now who knows uh sunday was i think today was just as busy it was really really like go here do this okay i have to leave halfway through this to go do this meet this do this uh i had if you just to give you guys an idea so we had the lock and load ledger all weekend and i don't want to show this too much but like you can kind of see on on here like all the people signing the things. Even some people even left little, uh, little pictures. They when when they met me, they're like, "I'm gonna drop you a picture." It was really really fun. Uh, Lewis was the guy who's here oh, you know, okay. with uh, cool. with with, huh. with Gearbox. Um, I had some of the, the PP staff sign here too. Like uh, I got to meet Jordan Lamb in the morning. I went up to check out my painting competition stuff before the before the uh, the actual judging and. Um, Yeah, ended up just, you know, I ran, I ran into him, and he, I sat down with him, I was, I was talking with him for like 15, 20 minutes, and then he, he's like, what's your name? And I'm like, oh, it's Kyle, like, aka Wreckers Iron, and he's like, oh my god, it's you! <laughs> and uh, we got talking, and like, you know, just talking about paint, and like the new paints, and ways we want to use it and stuff, and it was it was really fun, I, I really like, I really, really, really like Jordan a lot, and uh, after that, I was like, oh shit, I gotta go, I, I'm I, like going to the dev chat with Oz for Monster Apocalypse. Rusty says he rocked 11 games of Mompok this weekend. I uh, I did three in, down there with during our little mini tournament, and then I did one in the room with uh, um, uh, Gearbox after uh, after hours, the after party. Um, do, what did did you uh, did you literally just rock out uh, games all, all, all today? Like That's just all, like like boom 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 boom. That's all I did. That's all I did. But I only got like three games in because it was you know they shut it down early. So yeah, it was a little weird that they shut it. They they basically were closing up shop around two, and I, and I get it. I mean, it's Sunday; they gotta pack up all the shit and get home to their families. Yeah. But I feel like, I feel like it, it, it probably would have made more sense for like a five o'clock shutdown. You know, of uh, 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 being kicked down around four. It's kind of weird. Like, yeah, I, I know that some people are leaving here are here on Sunday, but like the people who weren't, which there's actually quite a few of us still in the hotel. Um, we're just kind of hanging out now. <laughs> it would have been nice to get into, like, just finish off of the, our, our extra games and and uh, whatnot. But, yeah, so went to the dev chat with Oz. I actually posted up a lot of the stuff in the Discord, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a recap of what I I took notes on. Um, <clears throat> uh, let me see here. So... Uh, Oz was talking. The one thing I really like talking with Oz about is I, I always appreciate when developers tell you kind of their exact mindset when they're when they're they're starting development. And one of the things that Oz said, uh, I really liked what he said. So he said, I keep saying said like I'm a freaking idiot here. Uh, where is it? So, so uh, he, one of the things that he mentioned. Uh, that's constantly said on Facebook, especially in the in the group, was he's always getting pinged about like, oh, I want to just play Martians. Why do Martians suck? Or like, I want to play this. Why does it suck when I'm just playing this? And it's like he said, like faction pure is not the design focus. Like his idea is you mix and match, and you that that that's the purpose. Like you, if you need to fill in a role, you can pick it from within your agenda. Like he's like 
look at the game as agendas, not factions. The factions are just to organize into smaller groups, so they're they're like cleaner for the design purpose. Um, he said a lot of cool stuff. He gave a lot of spoilers. Um, he mentioned a blob monster, a blobicus, or uh, the the idea is it's a big blob, and he wants it so that when you hit it, it splits into two. So you have yeah. like like if, if you go to try and kill it, it has a limited amount. So when it goes hyper, instead of going into uh, into like super blob, yeah, it could, instead of going into super blob, it actually splits into two smaller ones, which I thought is a super cool idea. He's like they're working on trying to make it happen, but he's like I don't know what the viability of it is or if it will happen, but he's like I want to make it happen. Um, he spoiled a lot of stuff. I had to leave halfway through, actually, right towards, I guess, the good stuff, because um, uh, maybe, maybe not the good stuff. I have no idea, but uh, he mentioned uh, the third monster for Uber Corp is going to be a Mecha Maximum, which is really neat. Um, and now, one thing I didn't really understand was if he meant that, because when he brought that up, he was talking about these the morphers from 1.0. So the morphers, for those of you who don't know, were a combination of four like smaller units, unit monsters, that would form into basically Voltron, Megazord, whatever it is, and to form into something like that. And um, that was during the conversation. So it sounded the way he initially kicked it off. It sounded like the the Shinobi bots form into this bigger robot. Um, I don't know if that's actually true or what that was meant to be. Um, I was a little confused there, so if I know Rusty was in there, I know that almost everybody for the Mompod group was in there, so if you guys know, um, I want the blobs to have flanking, like they're uh, wrapping around and consuming. Yeah, that would be awesome. And, uh, like, maybe they can always move through stuff, no matter what. Um, immune to fire. <laughs> um They talked about my my exosuit and that weird tank thing that they were showing. So the tank thing was actually a giant super tank that was acts as like almost like a a bodyguard for the smaller models. Um, it's still a, it's still like a model unit, but it's like uh, it's just like it, it's so big that it blocks things, so it provides cover to the other things near it, like a, like, a, like a mobile shield. Um, and the exosuit, um, he, it's like a defensive brawler almost, which is pretty cool. Uh, they'll be morphers, but morphing as a rule being overhauled. Okay, so there you go. I'm I'm still mixed about the morphers. I'm not super excited about morphers, but if they do something clever, creative, and not cumbersome like it was in the first, thumbs up. <laughs> um, he talked a lot about, actually, at the start when I was there, the disaster groupies, which are like the anti-Green Fury and like that kind of stuff. Um, he Now, maybe Rusty or some of you guys out there can clarify this, but he said... Uh, the cam uh, Green Fury and Disasters are getting unit blisters, um, but there is no monster plan for the for the for the hippies. Um, so far, Titanica is supposed to be for the Green Fury, so the fifty foot woman thing. But uh, um, he said there was no initial plans to do anything with the. They're supposed to be just units for um, the disaster groupies. I don't know if that, those were the actual names. I don't know if he mentioned an actual name during that thing. Um, I know Frothy Cat posted up um, a summary of some of our notes that, we, that everybody was posting in the Mompok Discord and our own. Um, and one thing that I really appreciate with Oz, uh, one of the things I kind of wanted to know and I didn't get a chance to ask the question because when Oz apparently starts talking and there's like no break, like he just, he just is like from topic to topic, like like just like nonstop. I mean, I'm doing that right now myself, but <laughs> like it was a next level like, this is a development, this is the thing, this is the idea, and it's like, oh, over to here, then, oop. But he said, he, uh, Oz's goal is to not make no-you-can't moments for everything, no hard counters, should be a way to be harder, uh, sorry, there should always be a way or a harder way to do it, never a you-can't-do-it. I think there's supposed to be something in Globicus was the spun in on that, I think because it's uh, a Hedora reference. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, with the pollution monster. Um, yeah, so one of the things that I, I wanted to ask him for this, because he, he started off saying, like, um, uh, Jason Souls wrote the ori original rules for Monster Apocalypse, and it was very almost like a Monster Apocalypse 1.5 from what he described. He didn't say 1.5, but it sounded like a 1.5. And when Oz took over, he kind of cleaned it up a little bit. 
Now, he mentioned that there was things he also wanted to change, but he didn't. Now, I wanted to know what those things were. Like, I wanted to know what is in the game currently that he didn't want in the game that he now designs around. I didn't get a chance to ask that. Uh, maybe I can ask him in chat or something at some point. Um, yeah, the, the, uh, I there's a lot of other cool dev chat stuff that they talked about. If you go on the Discord, guys, you can read the rest. But uh, I think those are kind of the, the coolest things. Um, oh, one of the things that I thought was a really little, a weird thing was Olgoth was not supposed to be released. It was supposed to be way further out or not at all. And there was supposed to be a new Cthulhu monster. And he did say, though, that the next three releases, like the final three monsters for the, for the current factions, the original factions that were released, will be out in the fall. So from the fall leading up, I guess, into the winter, uh, we'll get a third monster for all this stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I am worried a little bit about bloat at some point like just you know you get a game that's kind of new and it's a little bit controlled environment especially with uh, monster apocalypse without new maps it's uh there's not much i mean there's enough variety to keep you interested and keep going especially like after my game now i just realized how crazy the maps are but it's not like war machine where you can put down anything on the table and create a whole new game essentially uh it's it's really a controlled thing so i'm, I'm worried about as time goes on that things get a little bit more extreme Especially because Oz said, like, the first monsters he designs on his own from the ground up were Hammerclack and, and Croconoctus. And a lot of people consider them, like, really super potent. Um, the Mompok tournament that just end, ended said otherwise. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, that's uh, Mompok right there. So we finished up the... After we did the dev chat, I ran upstairs to do uh, my painting competition. So... Like halfway through the painting competition, they did the Iron Painter. So, I'm not, sorry, not the Iron Painter, the P3 Grand Champion thing. So, they did the judging, and you can go up and see your, your stuff and see if you want anything. So, ba ba da ba, ba 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 ba. I got the bronze. I got the bronze metal for my uh, battle group. So, my Grimkin battle group. You guys saw me paint for many, many weeks and moons on the stream. It, uh, it, it, it came with a, I came with a prize and a lot of tips, so I actually took notes here. Uh, Jordan gave me a ton of, like, for each of my models, like, all, I submitted other ones too, but he gave me notes on, and tips on all of them individually. Um, but, as we predicted, the common theme was uh, go higher. That's what I wrote down. Uh, theme, go higher. So he's, he's like, go higher on your highlights. Go deeper into your shades so uh, some of the things like um, pick a focal point and make sure that that's the most uh, that is the focal point it's the best detail that's the most highlighted it is what's there and make sure that as you go depending on where your light source is make sure it's darker towards the bottom and I, I already try that and I've been practicing that but I need to pump up my light to make the darker part more dark so um, that that was really the common thing, and, and that was something I kind of predicted. I, you heard me say it a lot. Like contrast is going to be my my thing to work on. Um, and then this guy, he's like, he's like, yo, where are you at? And I'm like, <laughs> he's like texting. I'm like, oh, I'm up in the painting room. And so like, I, I'm I, I'm down getting my notes, and like, I didn't even see you come in. I was just chilling out <laughs> at a table. Yeah. And uh, so I get up and just like leave with my stuff. <laughs> like I'm back in the room saying, like, "Where'd you go?" <laughs> you <laughs> get a text. Walk right past me. Yeah. Um, but uh, what else happened? I, uh, Dracius uh, was in that uh, in there as well. Um, I don't know if uh, he got some critique after. Uh, I didn't get a chance to actually ask him what uh, Oz said. Oh, sorry, not Oz. What um, Jordan said about um, his battle group entry because his battle group entry was really good. Um, uh, it was the Borka. With the uh, with the guys riding the back of his uh, bomber guy, it was it was it was really really good. <coughs> Unfortunately, I was an idiot, and right when I got up to leave, they were starting to do pictures, and I was supposed to be the first one to do pictures, and I left, so I didn't get a chance. But uh, Jordan, when after I when I uh, when I entered the the like the line for the thing, he's like, "Come here, come here, come here," and he ended up giving me a totem huntress to paint on the stream because I mentioned like I was like I don't know if I can get the totem hunters it's a little uh, a little bit pricey for me because I, I wasn't sure how much money I had left for stuff and uh, yeah he's like paint this on the stream I want to see it so uh, we're going to paint the uh, the 75 millimeter scale totem hunters 
we'll probably do something a little bit different because it is it is a, a similar sculpt to our um, smaller the smaller one that, that that we did which is also maybe a little bit of the reason why I wasn't sure whether I was gonna pick it up because I had already painted the smaller version but this is here we'll open this up These boxes are a bitch Okay, there's like a mountain of tape on this. I'm not gonna be able to cut it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got scissors. Schnizzes. The metal. Uh, it looks like there's a metal piece. I'll do a proper unboxing of this uh, later when I get back. But I'll just show you guys the main body. So, like, it's really big. Here, I'll show you. Uh, I mean, it is 75 millimeter. And uh, Jordan, I, I asked him, I was like, I was like, uh, so what, what do you think of the Totem Huntress? And he, he's like, I love it. The only thing I would do is probably, I wish there was a little bit more of a unique piece for the, the other hand. He liked the, he liked the pig head, the, uh, the pharaoh head that it normally holds. Uh, but here, like, there's Laughs and Screams, who's pretty damn big in himself. And she's the same size as him. So, size of a heavy war beast. Which could be kind of a cool little swap in for something. So she's 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 pretty damn big. Uh, yeah, but he, he said he kind of wishes there was a little bit more of a different thing. But he also said he wants to do a ton of them. But he needs... Um, like he wants more of these to come out, but they need to sell, and people need need to need to want them. So I don't, I'm, I I do want to start painting this at some point. It I don't know when that will be. I need to I haven't looked past lock and load, so I'm taking this week. There were not going to be any streams this week past today. Uh, I'm going to be recouping until Sunday, where we'll start doing the giveaways and stuff for the shit from lock and load. I picked up some extra pins. And stuff to give away, and uh, they gave us some some things, some things in in and whatnots. Um, and then after that, we we finished off the Monster Apocalypse tournament. Which uh, congratulations to uh, Vicarious, who's in the Discord, AKA Mike Ireland, who uh, is a big War Machine player. He's uh, super competitive, but he, he's dipped into Mompoc, and he actually took second place in the World Championship. So we had the first and the second place uh, players for. The Monster Apocalypse Championship here, and uh, in our little mini tournament, and uh, yeah, he took first place, and uh, he seems super excited about it. He also does a lot of work with the um, Power Gorged, so uh, he said he'll try to get the uh, trophy on the stream, which uh, Drakeo's actually repainted it a bit. He put some of his new color shift paints on it, and it looked awesome. So thank you, Drakeo's, for that. Uh, and then the, the the day we just closed out with Monster Apocalypse, and. Um, Company of Iron. I played my uh, some Company of Iron with Emberwild. I didn't get it, it. I feel really bad because like Emberwild and I had planned all this cool stuff with Company of Iron, and uh, just everything kind of there was so much going on and we were so busy going back and forth between things that we didn't get a chance to really dig into it. Um, but I will be posting up the thing that I did design for our little group. Oh, sorry, for our little um, campaign to the Discord group uh, for that. So there's a um, there, it's a narrative campaign for. Uh, there's a beginning which determines the middle and one of the two scenarios will determine what kind of ending that you play and uh, I did that on the I flushed it out on the plane on, on the ride here so I'm I'm kind of stoked to write it up and, and release it uh, I gave Oz his t-shirt in his uh, company of iron scenario uh, we didn't again we didn't get a chance to play it but um, it was fun it was fun um, and then the con closed on us literally <laughs> We were sitting there playing Company of Iron until uh, Will Hungerford came in, and he's like, okay, everybody has to leave. <laughs> like, oh. And then we came back here with, uh, we had an after party in the room. We drank some of uh, leftover Jehoic, or not Jehoic, uh, Ember Wild's Sweet Brew. And then we went out, uh, we played some Monster Apocalypse with Gearbox. So Gearbox was giving me some, basically a one-on-one -on -one session on his how he plays the game and like how he kind of manipulates the map and does things and it was it was really insightful because um while i'm not a super competitive player i kind of want to know that for when we do our montauks 
so I can be a little bit more informed on like the more competitive side, um, more so for just to not sound like an idiot, because <laughs> I'm like ah! whenever I'm doing stuff with uh, with that uh, with that game. So um, yeah, and then we went out for taco time again. Taco time. Can't it go was wrong. it was five. It was a taco five times for you. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Yeah. So uh, what? Did, so. What, what did you think overall of, of our first lock and load? Never you, been. You know, I was actually thinking about this. The one thing I find to be the biggest shame coming out here, and this might have just been me, is flying in from the East Coast. Like, I think it was the jet lag, but like Friday. So we got in Thursday. Yeah. I was pretty tired. We went out right away to like get stuff. Um, but like Friday, I was exhausted all day Saturday for about like the first half of the day like I really didn't get my second win until like Saturday night yeah and uh yeah it was just I was just I don't know I struggled to like there was I, I my plan was to be in there like 24 7 playing like it was open 24 7 the iron arena like you can yeah. play like as much as you want but I had to come back to base and just like rest because yeah, I think it might have been the jet lag, but really it's just with our room where it was, it was just like you you basically just walk out the door and it's, yeah. it's and there's a table in. there and you're like, "Oh, yeah. yeah." So it's it's great you go down there. The only thing I think they should do next time is make the iron arena organized a little bit. So basically what it is like you had all these tables and then right near where the doors are, mm-hmm. You got people just milling around, chit-chatting, talking. It gets kind of crowded there. It would have been kind of nice if they had something to let other people know. I'm there looking for someone to play. Yeah. And, That's actually you know, a really clever idea, like a, uh, like a flag or something you can hold. or like. Well, they had, like, I saw a couple people made their own signs, but, like, a lot of people would, like, sit at a table like by themselves and that was their way of advertising like i'm looking for a game but they did i don't know (laughs) they're not saying anything and where you go to report your game yeah i didn't see this until today but they had this little it was almost like the size of a bookmark and it said lfg on it oh and i don't know if i don't i don't know what that was for exactly but um just something like that and and the only reason why is just because like i I just burned like a lot of time. Like I don't care. I would just run around to anyone and just ask, you know, are you looking for a game? Are you looking for a game? And like it would take I don't know, like a lot of people would say no, um, because for whatever reason they weren't looking for a game or maybe they looked at me and they're just like, Yeah, but not with you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You're too you're too weird, boy. <laughs> yeah, but if, if they could just do something to just kinda organize that a little bit better. The other thing too that I was a little a little disappointed in is um, I wound up playing um, two people like multiple times like I played this kid from Australia twice I played some other kid uh, like a teenage kid like I played the kid who was probably like 12 mm-hmm. that's the kid who murdered me with the silos oh, okay <laughs> I played another another guy who was like a teenager probably and I played some other guy um, a little older than that more than once mm. because like I couldn't find anyone else and it was kind of disappointing because I wanted to experience playing like as much variety as possible so it would also be kind of cool where if they could organize it in a way where like you got your guys and you're like I really want to face off against these guys so you can just look at something and say like here's the people that play this faction who are looking for a game it would be cool if they could have like it, like, I know this is a far-fetched dream, but if there was a, a simple app or a simple thing in the war room that would be, like, something they could add to the convention, like, lock and load section of the war room, and you could be, like, Iron Arena, like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, an app would be and great. Still looking for a game, and then you could, like, yeah. tap, okay, I want to look at this guy. Boop, tap it, yeah. and then you're just paired up, and then maybe you could be, like, like, it's, like, leave a message. Meet me at the blah, 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 blah. You yeah. Know, like... Yeah, something like that. I, I just think would be cool because I wanted to experience as much variety as possible. So I wound up playing like some, like maybe like 
a third of the games I played were against the exact same like lists, like mm-hmm. again and again, which is fine. But you know, like I said, I I talked to a guy last night who bought his he bought the Infernal stuff, mm-hmm. like the box and a bunch of other stuff to make a seventy five point list. He got the gate. He bought it um, Friday night. Bought it Friday, put it together. No, he bought it Friday, put it together Friday night, and was playing it last night. That's crazy. And I asked him, like, I really want to face off against those guys. I don't know much about them. And he's like, yeah, sure. How about tomorrow? I was like, yeah. Never saw the guy. Oh, he was probably like, yeah, sure, go away, you Screw that guy. I was, yeah. I was just humoring him. Yeah. Did you see his? Did you see him? <laughs> he was a weirdo. And Dan, uh, <laughs> just uh, like God does that all the time to me. He's always like, and Dan, uh, I saw one guy with a sign that says OnJ looking uh, looking for game. Yeah, and there definitely should be a better way to organize. I felt like one thing that was weird, and this one thing that this is the reason why I didn't seek you out to play all the time was like we always play together. So it was like I want to get one game with you here, mm-hmm. and then play other people. You know. Um, it's like a swingers war machine swingers party. <laughs> <Ooh>. uh, <laughs> And, and, and yeah, like that, that should be the goal of coming here is like getting to not just play against your friends at Lock and Load, you know, play against other people you've never played yeah. against or wanted to always play against or maybe talked about playing with some other time or online. And uh, yeah, that sucks because I didn't experience it because I already had games lined up with specific mm-hmm. people that I wanted to get a game in with. Um, but it's not like you played them before, so it's yeah, like it was kind of new for you. Too. Yeah, ex- exactly. So that was the only reason why I didn't have a double up or a. Yeah. Or whatever, but uh, G Hoek mentioned he was he found a scrambles tournament and that's where he, oh. he disappeared to. And oh. he played like uh, it was like an eight round tournament or some shit. He was gone for like six, seven hours <laughs> in the day. And uh, he played four, no, he played it was a four round tournament. Sorry, he played four, four games during it. Um, I have no idea where those are set up either. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, I would have liked to have joined something like that, yeah. Um, maybe that's something I can, because uh, Headley from Private Press, he's he always is like, hey, if you have ideas or whatever, poke me about it. So maybe that is something I can pass yeah, on and yeah, like, hey, sure. like feedback from two people who have not played here before, not been here. This is what we experienced yeah. and you know thought things were going to be, but it wasn't, and some things that we would hope for in the future. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I didn't really. The the weekend was super long, but also feels like super short because I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. I didn't get a chance to go. I watched a little bit of Riot Quest, but I was on the run and meeting people and and going to different things and playing games and stuff. I didn't get a chance to play Riot Quest. I saw it, but I didn't get a chance to play it. I didn't get a chance to do my Company of Iron, which I really wanted to do. And I didn't play as many games as I thought I would. I, uh, I mean, I, I met up with all people and chatted and, you know, had good hangouts and fun times. But I definitely didn't get a chance to play as much as I uh, as I thought I would. Uh, but I did play more this weekend than I have the whole rest of the year, and maybe most of half of the year before that. <laughs> Riot Quest. Um, I mean, I already showed off some of the stuff uh, that we got. Uh, oh yeah, the prizes. I gave out prizes for everybody who was in the tournament. Um, G Hoek and I were competing for last place. <laughs> I took last place in the tournament, by the way. I got demolished by everybody. I went uh, O and three. Um, uh, so for the Mopoc tournament, we had Vicarious take first. He took a blister pack. Uh, I can't remember which blister pack. I believe it was the Stealth Ship Uber Corp. Um, we had Amber Wild, who took, uh, I believe, also Uber Corp because he plays Destroyers, uh, who took second place. Um, we had Gearbox, who took the Rocket Ape um, expansion. We had Rusty, who took fourth. He took the last one that, well, that was there, and G-Hoek used up the rest of my Iron Arena points, which I think was like seven or eight. And he reported all of his games he didn't do the rest of the week, so he, per- he could just grabbed everything he possibly could. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I ended up uh, grabbing a bunch of stuff. I mean, I already showed off some of it, and uh, some of it's for me, obviously, because I have some benefits of, of connections, which is nice means I can save a little bit of money, but I'm also going to be doing a lot of giveaway stuff. Um, Mac is probably going to take one of the apes, right? You're going to take uh, General Hondo? Yeah. Giving Mac the old General Hondo right in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> an 
fact. You can have one right now. Yay! Yeah, so McAdoo. Wait, is it Honda or Condo? Which, oh. This is the rocket launcher guy? Yeah, this is the rocket okay. launcher guy. So, we're experiencing lock and load for the first time with us. Da, 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 is it just one in here? Yeah, it's, it's uh, okay. General Honda. Make sure put, the card's in there. So I thought they put two in a box. No. Yeah, see, I'm General really... Honda. Oh, it's plastic. I thought they were metal. Why is it a lot bigger than I thought it would? Yeah, he's massive. Like when you see him in the store, like it, hanging it, up, it, they look it might dinky. Be taped. Oh no, no, it's not. Yeah, I know they look stupid and dinky in the store, but then you open up them, they're like giant, fucking huge things. Do they have the? Does they have the Ubercore version of these yet? Yes. Oh, of, of apes? Yeah. No, no, no. But they will. Apes. Yeah, I, de I definitely will have a Robo Ape at some point. It's a super popular request. So, uh, I wish Sarah was still in the stream because she gets a, uh, she gets an Uber Corp for letting oh, me go to this for <laughs> a weekend and uh, being oh, away. Oh, he's got like an eye patch. And if you look at him, he's also got a truck as Dude, a Dude, it's a truck as a rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah. That's it's basically a rocket silly, truck. Silly, dude. Oh my gosh, yeah. Nutty. Oh, yeah. riot. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, uh, I'm going to do, like like I said, I'm going to do a recap of my my stuff um, this week during um, my week between now and next Sunday streaming because I'm going to need a little bit of time. I know I'm going to be sick. It's inevitable. I already kind of feel kind of hot and... Uh, I mean, you can see it in my face, but I'm also really tired. I think we've slept like maybe 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 12 14 hours in three days not a lot not a lot of time um yeah especially last night last night was freaking rough yeah because uh yeah we it was like i got in at 3 30 into here and then we woke up around eight i think yeah i think that was the shortest I mean, maybe we got a little bit more. I, I I think I got about 15, 16 hours of sleep this weekend. Which is why I'm drinking coffee at like midnight. <laughs> Just to get through the stream. But ladies and gents, if you are still listening, I think we have no one listening. I think we're by ourselves. I'm just joking. I, I have no idea. I can't see the I can't see the viewer count. Um, no stream this week leading up to the thing. I'll still probably maybe be on Discord. Uh, I'm going to be posting up... Um, between now and Sunday, I'll be posting up like a ton of stuff, like pictures and things on Discord, on Instagram and uh, Twitter and all that, of you know people met and some cool pictures of the games and tables and stuff, uh, the costume contest as well. I got some pictures in there, and uh, some of the action from the Mompok tournament. Um, I'll probably post up actually about that very shortly. Uh, we're gonna be doing a ton of giveaways. I don't know what yet. I haven't sorted out what's for giveaways and what's not. Uh, I did I did pick up a few things for that. I got myself some mom pop cups. Um, I picked up an extra set of mom pop pins. So these are we're gonna do some giveaways for, for the mom pop pins. Um, what else is in here? I picked up I picked up some of the exclusives. And other things like that, and the stuff that uh, that they gave me to give away. Um, oh, we're going to be giving away an extra neoprene map. Uh, the only Riot Quest stuff was James, and oddly enough, I actually got some in my uh, package here. So I finally got my Kickstarter <laughs> thing, but it's not really from Kickstarter. I'm still waiting on that. Um, the only Riot Quest stuff that they had were some like weird up like little cards that you can get from the uh, Iron Arena. They had a few cards that you could uh, pick up and uh, just the James model. That was it. Um, I also looked at the box art. I po already posted it up on that, but I actually held the box and like looked at it and it looks like a Monster Apocalypse starter box. So it's the same, about the same size. Um, I mean, they've already kind of showed pictures of it, but it looks good. It's very descriptive. I like that on the side it actually says how to play and it's like kind of almost like a joke in itself. Um, yeah, so uh, I, for 100%, we got some uh, we got some Uber Corp to give away. We got uh, a, a map to give away. We got some Mompok pins. Uh, I think there might be some 
War Machine stuff in there, but I got to check. I gave some already to like Drakios and a few other people uh, for you know hanging out and doing stuff and being here. And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll see what happens. There's my, there will be a little bit more stuff and more info throughout the week, and uh, we'll be back on Sunday for that final little or not the final, but the the the, the mega swag for the lock and load mega swag. And we'll do an extended stream maybe that day. I'm not really sure because uh, it actually I'll have to lug my shit home first, set up, and then stream. So it might be a little bit later than 11 a.m. I'll, I'll I'll update you when I know more. I have to talk to Granny Panties and uh, um, see what her plans are for that weekend. If she wants to stay there and come back on Sunday night or Sunday in the morning and uh, we'll set up and do and do a stream. One of the previewed minis needs a name change. It's a name of a racial slur here in the UK. They don't care about the UK. You guys don't even have War Machine in the UK anymore. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm sure they'll figure it out sometime. I mean, if they changed, um, if they changed the Hitler model to, uh, to a different name, maybe they will change that if it becomes an issue. The, the Adolf something or other looked like Adolf Hitler, so everyone was calling him Hitler. Who? He was, um, I'll show you the model. The War Machine guy? Yeah, it was a Crucible Guard guy. I forget what his actual original name was. Um, I'll just Google search it. War Machine Hitler model. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you spelled Hitler wrong. Did I? It looked like it. Oh, there's a typo. Uh, okay, yeah. His name is his name is or was Adolphus. I wonder if there's gonna be a picture of here. Adolphus. Morley. There it is. That guy? Yeah. Dr. Adolphus Morley. Does he have like a little mustache? Look at the artwork. Where did the artwork go? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, that's the artwork for it. Why would you do that? <laughs> the, like, you know how much heat you're gonna get for that? Well, they did, and they had actually like announced that they're changing the name of him. That was months and months ago, but. Well, no, they just changed the, changed the way he looks. You could change his name; he's still Hitler. He still looks like Hitler. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I know people named Adolfo. Yeah. But they don't look like Hitler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I, I really didn't give a shit. I mean, I know that's a, uh, like. I don't know if it was intentional or I, it definitely was not intentional. I think it was just like the, the guy's a mad doctor kind of thing. Like he mm. experiments with things and forces people to be part of his experiments. And I, all you got to do is get rid of that. Just and or, you're good. Or give him just a big giant oh, yeah, mustache, like a goofy one. steampunk mustache that everybody seems yeah. to have. Um, or what if they called him like Charlie? Charlie Choo Choo. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Choo Choo. There you go. Now it's Charlie Chaplin. And you don't got to change the model. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's the name is a Charlie Choo Choo. And just like give him like a stove top hat. Yeah. And there, there you go. <laughs> they just like Photoshop a hat on him. <laughs> That's it. You're welcome. You're yeah. welcome, Privateer Press. We just solved your problem. Stove top bowler. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think I'm going to gonna bounce away here. I think we've been streaming for about an hour or something, it feels like. Uh, overall... It was a fun experience. There's definitely, I, I learned a lot about what I should and shouldn't do while I'm here. I'm definitely, the narrative event was fun, but I don't think I'm gonna do another narrative event unless it's really specific to something that I give a shit about. Like last time that I wanted to go, I really wanted to be part of that Grimkin one. This one I wanted to do because I missed the Grimkin one. Um, it was a, it was super wicked. It was a really strange event to be part of, and it was a, it was a lot of like, like, oh, moments. Everyone's like, ah, oh, every like 10 minutes. But uh, it ate up all of Friday. Like, I didn't get a chance to do pretty much anything on Friday except for two additional War Machine games, and that was it. Um, I think you must have played, like, ten games that day <laughs> on Friday. It was ridiculous. It's all a blur. Yeah. Um, but next time, I think I'm probably going to do 
not a narrative event, be part of more of the smaller stuff like the painting room uh, talks and the little sculpting things because I really wanted to go see that, but I was always like in something. Um, get just more games in with a, f a bunch of people. I didn't get. A ch I, I wanted to get a game in with a few other people that signed the the, the lock and load ledger, and uh, I didn't get a chance to. I, I only saw them a couple times in in the arena, and I was always playing another game or off somewhere else. Um, and I, I didn't get a chance to actually sit down and pick the brain of a few people I wanted to. Like I wanted to sit down with Oz and actually talk to him about uh, about some things, and uh, didn't get a chance to do that. Uh, yeah, so I'll make a summary and do all that stuff for our YouTube. And uh, you guys will hopefully get to see that maybe right after the lock and load uh, giveaway mega swag on Sunday. So, any last words for lock and load? War machine. War no. machine. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> 2019 lock and load done. <laughs> done. So, we'll catch you guys next Sunday. Uh, and uh, stay tuned on all the social medias for all the posts and all the fun. And more pictures of us in sexy poses. Mm, farewell. Good day. And don't forget, wink.